second guessing ourselves and see what's actually going to happen. And on the north side of the map, we have our red turn player from my insanity. It is Jachi. And down in the bottom right hand corner of the map, we have our blue pros player from Millennium representing Team Baguette here in the SC2RTL. It is Lilbo. So again, we've got a lot of matches coming your way this week, guys. Uh, Liquid vs. Invasion Esports will be happening at some point. And um, we've also already got uh, Axiom Acer vs. Cascade taking place tomorrow. Uh, there's a bunch of other matches coming up as well. And as soon as we find out when they're taking place, we'll get them up on the TL calendar. We'll let you guys know. And um, we'll be hoping to cast every single one of them again, just as we did last week. If you didn't miss any of last week's games, uh, you can check them out on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash sc 2 improve They're not all there just yet, but as soon as we go, um, as soon as I turn the stream off today, I'm going to go onto YouTube, click upload, and I'm going to upload every single, um, we're going to upload every single uh, VOD from last week that isn't already on the uh, site. So they should all be there by tonight, every single VOD. And, um... Yeah, basically, just every single VOD should be there, and um, it should be good. You should be able to be all happy. If you missed any of the matches last week, you'll be able to see what's up, see what's happening. Catch up on your favorite players, favorite games. We'll have the week one uh, top five players video uploaded onto the, uh, uploaded as well. So that you guys can uh, see the top five players. We did play that at the start of today, uh, if you guys did uh, see that. So, um, so yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. Um... So yeah, hopefully you guys like it too and check it out. Let us know, give us feedback so we can improve it perhaps. Reaper opening here for Jachi if we go back in game. Uh, so first Reaper on the way, as if you're going to scout in the correct direction. So Reaper will come down in this uh, direction in a very few, in a few moments as well. And um, and yeah, so this uh, SCV coming down. And uh, Again, he's, he's just going to see that uh, actually Lilbo is on double gas, so immediately here, something a little bit odd from Lilbo. Uh, double gas, again, I, I'm, I'm just falling over my own words today. Um, double gas and uh, a couple of probes going down here because he does want to take this Nexus quickly, but I'd imagine he wants to put down some kind of tech very soon after the Nexus, and uh, a Stargate is definitely uh, a possibility. He does cancel that Zillard, he does get the Nexus down, and uh, he will now just pull his probes back in towards the main base as a Mothership Core pops out and uh, we'll be uh, looking to deflect this Reaper as it does come in here and we'll look to try and see what, what kind of damage it can get done. Stargate going to be on the way down and uh, immediately the single probe taking a little bit of damage as this Reaper will just escape, pop out and we'll head back home I imagine maybe? No, okay, he's, he's just going to chill out for a little while longer here. Um, so he will actually pop back up into the natural, into the main and um, Mothership Core will move back towards this assimilator uh, to deflect the Reaper once again. So no real damage being done, but the Reaper does see that Stargate. So he knows what's up, he knows what's coming his way. And uh, there will be a very fast Oracle coming out here from Lilbo. Jachi opting to continue mining gas adds on his factory very quickly. So we're going to see a little bit of mine play out of him. And uh, that Starport and Medivac coming in very shortly as well, most likely. We've got some Hoi Hoi Hoi's coming into the chat, of course, because we're on Catalina. As we see the first Oracle. Starting up here for Lilbo, who doesn't actually know where his opponent is just yet, and he's going to unfortunately guess wrong. He's going to send his Oracle to the top left here to begin with, which is just a shame. I mean, it's, uh, I mean it is in the correct direction, so his Oracle's going to get there a little bit later. Um, good, well, he's going to get to the top right a little bit later than he could have if he'd scouted. And um, it's just one of them things, you decide not to scout, you've got to take a gamble. And it's 50-50, and this time he's uh, picked the wrong side of the coin. So Oracle, let's uh, follow this as it goes on an adventure to the middle of nowhere. Yeah, early on. Mine just burrowing at the ramp, and um, Jachi just uh, continue to build up his marine count. Starboard is up, uh, finally starts to build that medevac. Second uh, mine is on the way as well. Plenty of marines here in the main base, as this oracle takes a diversion now that it's seen there's nothing in the top left hand side of the map. It's going to head in towards this uh, upper right base, and uh, there is going to be a mine hiding behind this. Um, Hiding behind this refinery, which Lilbo's going to have to be very, very careful of. And, uh, whoops. This guy is so. Oracle going to turn around and get away. As um, the mines are burrowed here, and uh, they are just burrowed at the uh, main ramp. I'm behind the, this refinery. As uh, this first Oracle. Not going to get too much damage done, 
but uh, just get a little bit of a scout so he knows what's going on for his opponent and uh, he's getting his uh, robux facility up as well. So for now, Lilbo, he's actually, is he going to hide Immortals here? I think he might be with that rally point. Uh, unless he wants to just rally an observer behind his mineral line or so. Um, he's got a lot of money stacked up here. Okay, it's just going to be that observer here to begin with. So um, observer to begin with, uh, this Oracle not doing too much anymore. Um, may be able to deny this Reaper coming in. Uh, just kind of going in the wrong place at the wrong time though. And the Reaper will be able to come in straight away to this main. Uh, Robo Bay and a Twilight Council on the way down. And uh, this will just be the next set of tech buildings coming in for Lilbo. Uh, which isn't too much of a surprise either. What does Jachi actually see there? To, right, he sees the Twilight Council and the Robo. So he sees pretty much everything here. And I mean, it's not going to be too much of a surprise going into the Twilight for Blink. Going into the uh, Robo Bay as well for Colossi. No um, no sign of upgrades just yet, no forges on the map, and uh, we'll see what that means maybe as the game goes on. Blink is uh, just starting up in that upgrade tab as the first Colossus will get Chrono boosted, and I, I mean with the lack of upgrades I wonder if uh, maybe Lilbo goes towards some kind of a uh, two base push perhaps. Um, just with the couple of Colossi and a uh, bunch of Blink Stalkers, definitely a possibility. We'll see what he adds on here. Uh, see how many gateways he goes up to, for example. I mean, going up to four right now isn't weird. I mean, even up to five or I mean, even up to six or so is all right. But if he goes up to like seven, eight, uh oh, bye bye. Uh, even going up to eight, uh, well, going up to kind of seven, eight is when we're kind of start thinking. Well, maybe you are just going to kind of uh, just all in off of this. Um, but let's wait and see. That um, Oracle cleans out and. Not going to get too much done, I mean, drops the revelation on a handful of marines, but nothing too useful as another gateway added on, so that's what, six now in total. As a couple more stalkers get warped in, first Colossus out, second Colossus being Corona boosted. As a probe will begin to head out on the map, and that's not to make a third base, guys, that is to go set up some pylons, so then... Um, he's actually rallied in towards the main base, I wonder if that's a mistake, if he was maybe just meant to click up here instead. Um, so that's going to be six gateways finished here. Second class is again on the way, and still no sign of those forges. No sign of further tech here from Lobo. So again, looking as though he may very well just be powering up to this one big attack. His three mines are going to drop off into his uh, main base mineral line. Pulls the probes almost immediately, and he just about gets away in time. And that's going to be three workers killed, and um, all the mines are going to go down as well though, and at the same time, Jachi in a little bit of trouble up here, he doesn't have Stim just yet, and this uh, Colossus uh, without extended Thermal Lance is trying to chase, Stalker's also, they're about to get Blink, and they could Blink on top of this, Stim is not finished for another 25 seconds, he's only got one Medivac to evacuate with, another Medivac on the way, Blink finishing now, and again, there we go, Blink's forwards here, and Jachi is going to have to turn around and fight this, but he's going to start taking a lot of damage, this Colossus going to do a pretty good job, Stalker's coming in from behind as well, that probe set up a pylon out on the map, a Blink forward picks off a Medivac, and this is great so far by Lilbo, he's done a lot of damage here, and now he's going to keep on pushing forward, Stim has now finished for Jachi, but he needs bunkers, and he needs to be able to defend, I just don't know if he's going to be able to, as uh, he might just Blink up into the main base, oh no, he's going to bypass the bunkers, he's just going to Blink up into the main base with the Colossus? Oh, well, what does he do? He's, he is, he's just going to blink up into the main base. The Colossus can walk up that ledge, of course. And uh, Lilbo is in a lot of trouble immediately. He's, uh, well, sorry, no, Jachi's in a lot of trouble. Pulling his SCVs here immediately. His uh, units need to try and get into position. Of course, he can't just blink down, escape, as uh, the SCVs are going to be pulled into this. And the Colossus are just being kited backwards here, and the SCVs again being pulled. So they're going to try and help out, just tank a little bit of this damage. But Jachi is losing a lot, but first... Colossus goes down here, 18, 20 workers killed, this was such a great opportunistic move by Lilbo, I feel as though he's building up to this anyways, but chasing the army across the map like that was brilliant, took no damage to the mine drop, and his counter attack is doing so much here right now, as uh, these two Vikings are slowly working their way against this Colossus, he is running out of units, but he's got units coming into the walls of the natural as well, a lot more stalkers as reinforcements, this Colossus still stands, he will be able to back away from that before the Marauders catch up with it, whoa, needs to be careful, very close to going down, but force field on the ramp now means all these SCVs on the natural will fall and I think ladies and gentlemen I think Baguette are about to fall one my insanity and my insanity you know in previous seasons they uh, you know they, they, they didn't take the team league that seriously you know they didn't always use their Korean players but um, and and this season they said hey we're gonna bring the Koreans but is it gonna be a loss like this that it takes for them to realize that they can't you know maybe send out you know Petraeus and Blisk and Sorrel in the same match maybe they need to keep a couple of their Koreans in case something like this happens Lilbo He's doubling the supply of his opponent right now. Jachi down to 19 workers. Then the orbital command at the natural is going to fall. He's going to try and move down the ramp here. I mean, the last Colossus has gone down. And uh, there is just bio left. So, I mean, it's still going to trade efficiently. But it's just not efficiently enough. I don't think a couple of zealots here will help to tank. 
GG is called and Lilbo does it. The Lilbo and Marine Lord 